In late 1994, I got I got hurt. I was in Fort Jackson, South Carolina, and on a training to go on a deployment unit in Germany, I had a fall, and the spinal the rucksack hit my spinal cord and it caused a tumor in my spinal cord, and I ended up in Georgia where they took out my tumor on the spinal cord and ended up uh, incomplete paraplegic. On November the 3rd, 2007, I was doing these, these sit-ups on an old Afria strip, and I was going as fast as I could, and uh, I got this pain in my lower back, so I just stopped. And I was getting ready for the run. When they blew the whistle for us to start, I stood up, my legs was numb. Long story short, by nine hours later, I was paralyzed from the waist down. Depression set in, and all the questions of how am I going to able to feed my family was probably my biggest concern. Um, being in a wheelchair, it, it bothered me some, but it wasn't big, big, my biggest concern is how am I gonna show my family, you know, I'm, I'm still this trooper, I'm, 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 I'm this warrior that they always try to make me see. I came here on the Lake Shore Foundation Leaving Fire Trap. That was a program they have for for veterans and their family. You can come here and your whole family and you could kind of hear yourself through uh, uh, exercise. Our roots go back to the 70s uh, when all that was here was a rehabilitation hospital. But a gentleman who was running the rehab hospital saw a pattern of people being discharged from the hospital, coming back in the hospital because when they went home they were not active. His answer to that was people with disability need to be physically active. About 25 years ago, it became a full-scale rehabilitation rehab uh, facility. And uh, probably about 10 years ago, uh, started dealing with uh, a great deal of the, uh, of the injured military who were injured on active duty and then shipped back stateside. I think it was three years ago, I came here with my wife on the Rice and Conquer, where they take um, veterans and their family members. Uh, and it's outdoors. I thought it was a sports event. I was like, I don't know, my wife might be bored, you know, watching us do whatever we have to do. And then noticed that it was just, we went and did all this outdoor stuff. And it was the first time after many years that I could enjoy my, with my wife something for people with disabilities. And we went canoeing and we went water, water skiing. Uh, my wife did the zip line. She was screaming like crazy there. And it just, after that moment, and I saw everything that Lecher had to offer that is way beyond sports, it's, it's way beyond recreation, it's just making you feel what are you able to do, and I fell in love with it. And not only that, the people you meet here, I mean, you see people here that are, are quads, you see people that are paraplegic, you see people in the 90s and 80s working out, and it just, I mean, it's just great, you know, I'm like, hey, if that guy, he's a, he don't have legs or arm, he can swim, you know, at least I could try. These uh, uh, special need uh, veterans come back in for a long weekend of, of, of doing uh, a number of tasks in the outer doors. And that, uh, one, is very beneficial to the individual. It gives them a high degree of, of self-esteem and, and the knowledge that, that they can uh, participate with, with everyone else. And, and secondly, it, it, the, the confidence that it instills in them. They decided to, uh, to build an indoor range. We are very, very proud of our uh, relationship with uh, this program that became beneficial in the rehabilitation process of these, particularly the injured uh, military uh, uh, folks that were coming back. It builds confidence. It restores a part of their life they had before, accident or injury makes them feel like well, they can do this and they can move on to doing other things. And it's a, it's a step in that process of rehabilitation. And, and you know, the power of sport and recreation to restore a part of your life that's important to you or to allow you to re-engage with friends or family, that's, you know, it's beyond the medical rehabilitation, but it's more of that really sort of reintegration back into the, the life that you, that you had before that injury or accident. It's powerful. I had a lot of support from my family and may, maybe just the fact that um, I have accomplished some things through sports and recreation have showed them that um, there, there is no stopping. If, if I fail and I can get higher from where I fell, it doesn't give them any excuse to, to go back in life. 
and they, they, they should succeed in whatever they want to succeed on. My whole life was built around doing physical stuff, and so yeah, I ran, I, I lift weights, I, I did that all the time, but that's why I get here at Lakeshore, because I do do physical stuff. You know, I play wheelchair football, I, I do a lot of activities that I thought I wouldn't be able to do anymore. I know that there are a lot of, a lot of people that are a lot worse situation than I am. I know that. At least I'm here. And I, you know, I'm spend another day with my family, so, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm thankful for the 44 years that I was able to walk, you know. It's what you make it because I thank God every day for putting me in a wheelchair. Um, I don't, I didn't have any kind of goals or, or, or objectives. To, to do when I was in able body. I was just going through life day at a time. Now that I'm in a wheelchair, it, it's giving me a purpose. It's giving me a purpose to show other people that, you know what, people with disabilities, we are just like anybody else and we're gonna be fighting like anybody else. We, we go through highs and lows like everybody else, but we will show people that we're able.